Hey Cupcakes, it's Mushroom, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. We recently got an update from Wildcard that Scorched Earth is on track to launch at the beginning of April. So we are making sure that you are ready to face the hardest adventure yet on ASA, by going through all the ways to find water. In summer of 2016, survivors on ASE logged into the desert map for the very first time and faced their hardest adventure yet. They entered a world entirely different from the island, with raging storms that knock out your power, giant beasts in the sand and sky, and no easy spawn anymore. And in the matter of just a couple weeks, we are going to be starting that same adventure again on April 1st. But before facing any of that, you will need to be able to survive early game with no water. As streams are uncommon and hard to get to, it's important for you to know the other ways of getting water. But luckily for you, I have them listed here. Method number one, the Morellatops. The slow, lumbering Morellatops is the cattle of Scorched Earth, but so much more than that. Morellatops store water in the humps of their back, which allow you to drink from them. This works whenever they've been around water to fill up their humps. You can actually fill up your canteens in their inventory as well. Taming your Morella tops can be done with berries, and is almost essential for your early game survival. And once you get one, your water woes will be much easier to handle. Method number two, water jug bugs. Conveniently, around the map you will find these small flying bugs with more than a little junk in their trunk. There are two types. The first one are oil jug bugs, which are an easy way to get early game oil. And the second are the water jug bugs. You can't fill your containers using them, and you also can't tame them. But you can run up to them and, uh, drink from them, I guess? These bugs can be a lifeline for your early game survival. Method number three, desert rivers. Along the middle of the map and, and under the ovulists, you will find a lifeline in the form of small lakes and ponds. These are common spots for survivors to congregate, but that doesn't mean that they're very safe. Capros are found in each and every one of these waterways, which are a threat for early game survivors as well late game survivors. So while these lakes are lifelines for survivors, they are just as dangerous as they are helpful. Method number four, cactus sap. The most vital and easiest way for you to get water early game is through cactus sap. Almost everywhere on this map, you will find these cactus plants. By harvesting them with a hatchet, you will get hundreds of sap. You can also get it through harvesting these little flowering plants as well even though you get a little bit less. Eat this cactus sap to fill up your water marginally. It may be time consuming, but it can definitely help get you through the brutal early game on Scorched. And method number five, water veins. I saved water veins for last as they are the very best way of getting water through the entire playthrough. You can drink and fill your canteens from the vein itself, but you can also attach a water well to do it. A tap can be attached to the water well, which will irrigate your crops reliably without needing to build by a busy waterway. This also keeps you safe from all of the dangers that lurk in the lakes as well. If you claim one of these veins, you will be set for your entire playthrough. If you guys liked this video, remember to like and subscribe to join the Mushroom Party on our adventure through the arts. I hope that you guys are just as excited for Scorched Earth as I am. Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for being here, and until next time, stay fresh, cupcakes.